Yo, what's up YouTube family? It's your boy, King A. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a very easy Forex capping strategy that you guys can use to grow your account, especially if you have a small account. So if this is your first time on my channel, make sure you like this video, smash the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my future videos. Now without further ado, let's dive in on the computer and let's take a look at the charts. All right, guys. So guys, um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a very easy uh, Forex scalping strategy that you guys can use to grow your account, uh, especially if you have a small account. So that's what I'll be showing you, uh, showing you guys today. And before I actually get started, uh, for this week on uh, my Signal Group, we actually did uh, 787 pips. As you guys can see right there, you guys can see some of the tricks we took. So uh, we had another uh, very good week. So if you guys want access to my uh, signals on Telegram, you can click the link on the description and you get access. Um, so uh, for this strategy, we're going to be looking at our uh, CAD JPY and we're going to be using this strategy on the 15 minute time frame and we're actually going to be using two moving averages and we're actually going to be using the uh crossover strategy uh for this capping strategy now the first indicator that we're going to use we actually going to use the uh, moving average ema and for this we're going to change this to uh 50 change this to 50 and once you're done you click on ok now this is how you use this strategy and always remember guys when it comes to forex you only place a trade when the market is actually trending and you also have to understand that when it comes to forex we just trading from zones to zones. That's what we're doing. If you can understand that we only trading from zones to zones and you only need to place a trade when the market is actually trending. And you guys are gonna see in this example how you can use this strategy to be able to, you know, trade from zones to zones. Now, as you guys can see right over here, we have our first confirmation right over here. We have the crossover, the eight cross the 50. Now that's your first confirmation. So you'll be asking yourself, where do I get in? Do I get in as soon as the as soon as I see the cross? No, that's definitely the wrong way to get into any trade at all. Not just this using this strategy, but for this strategy, you have to look for your support zone and as you guys can see right over here we have a nice zone right over here as you guys can see we had a nice zone right over there this was the previous resistance price touched it one touched it again over here now over here this is our support zone right over here became our support zone we have touch here touch here another touch here now you only have to get in once price closed below this support zone and you have a retest back to the 8 EMA then you get in so you would have got in right over here right over here and where you where are you gonna sell your take profit we could have easily target this next zone right over here we could have easily target that next zone for for tp1 and we have another one right here tp2 very simple now let's actually replay this and see how this trade played out and once you guys see this right over here you will have this nice resistance right over there you'll be anticipating either now the trade is either going to come down and sell or it's going to break this resistance and continue going up 
but in this case the market didn't do that so let's see how this sell trade played out let's replay this and let's just start from right over here and let's see how that played out then we have a cross right over here you have your first your first confirmation right over there now you're waiting for the right time to get into this trade let's keep looking bam you have that retest right over there once you see this candle you can you can get in once you see this candle or you wait for that candle to close let's keep looking bam take profit one smashed right over there let's see what this actually looks like from our entry so we got in right over here we have our entry right over there and our tp1 this was our target that's nice 17 pips already we have one to four ratio right over there let's keep looking tp2 smashed as well we got the tp2 was smashed already but let's look at how this trade played out kept on consolidating smashed the tp again now we can see market started ranging right over here and if we go down one more for our tp2 total for this trade is about 30 pips and you have you just set your stop loss right above this 50 ema right over here you only your stop loss is just 5.5 percent so let's just well 5.5 pips so let's just say six pips so for this trade alone our risk to reward ratio was five five to five let's just say that five to five very very simple great trade right there that's a great trade now let's look for a buy trade let's look for a buy trade now as you guys can see we have the cross right over here this is why it's so important to understand support and resistance as you guys can see right over here this is our support right over here but over here this became our resistance right over here and you guys should also know and understand that whatever happens on the left side right over here is going to happen on the right side right over here now to get into this trade you wait for this we see this cross right over here now you're just waiting for the retest and as you can see we have that retest right over here so you would have got in somewhere you would have got in right so you got in right over here so you would have got in right over here that would have been your entry and you have we have a tp right over here we got tp right over here and we got a tp right over here because we had a resistance right there so let's look at how this trade this buy trade played out so you guys can actually see see it in action let's start from right here bam we got the cross right over there now you're just waiting for price to break this resistance once it breaks the resistance you wait for that pullback let's keep looking how this trade played out bam you got the pullback you entered in this candle and we got our take profit smashed let's look at what the risk to reward ratio is looking like for this so we got in right over here oh no i, I grabbed the wrong uh, the wrong tool so we're looking our entry would have been right over here now you have your stop loss right over here 
about 11 pips right over there. TP1 smashed. We got our TP smashed over there for 10 pips. We got another TP right over here for 22 pips. Right over there, our risk to reward ratio was 1 to 9. Right there, as you guys can see. Let's keep looking how this uh, looking at how this trade played out. Market started ranging. Bam. TP2 smashed for 22 pips. This to reward 1 to 9. So guys, if you find value in this video, make sure you guys like this video smash the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my future videos uh, 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 uh.